Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2, the Ottoman Empire, where we are playing with the Sir Mod, and we are trying to do a World Congress series, and we are destroying the sick men of the world, which is basically everyone else that is not us. So today, guys, we are in a gigantic war with the Yuan. Well, not really a gigantic anymore, because we're basically crushing him. And we are in a war in Manchu, but the Manchu war we aren't really caring about, because it isn't really our war. I'm just kind of letting my vassal of Romania and J Japan deal with it. And over here, down in this place, well, we basically wiped all of Yuan's army. Yuan does not really have an army anymore, so... Yeah, they're kind of dead. <laughs> they're kind of dead. So... We're basically done with this front. Once we get our war goals, we're going to add Yuan to our Chinese provinces and Tibet. Linking our two lands and making us look more powerful and intimidating ever. Now, I've been thinking a lot, people, and I think the next person we are going to go after is going to be the mighty French Empire. Why? Because I want to wipe out the French. <laughs> Say plain as that. I'm tired. I'm tired of the French attitude of them always being like, Oh, we might enter your war. We might not. You know, we might help you out, we not not. I mean this this is kinda of annoying, so what we're going to do is we're gonna get we're gonna carefully put all of our troops on the borders of all my provinces and have a gigantic line ready to go and wipe the mighty uh French out. So let's just start lining them all up on the border and let's see, we have some troops over there. And I'm also what I'm also going to do is a publisher divide up these guys. And let's see, you guys, let's see, we finished off right there, so right there. What I think I'm also going to do is create another mass conscription army off screen. And once that mass conscription army is all done, wow, I keep forgetting I have all these troops back here in, in uh, Russia land. We're just kind of chilling out in Russia land, but yes, I have troops in Russia land. Okay, let's see, and then right there is the next point. Let's see, and then where's the next point? I'm kind of glad they also kind of shows a little bit of the after effects, so I can kind of tell where my line is right now. Okay, and then right here. Eh, we could lose that little tiny province right there. If I lost it, it would not be a big, gigantic deal. Okay, is that everyone? Okay, so next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a massive conscription movement of every single region and basically round up my borders and make them really nice. Okay, so see you guys in a second. Okay, guys, I just finished up building up all my new armies and officially I'm making 172 brigades. So, yeah, when they are being made... <laughs> I'm going to be up to like 100 and 489 or something like that. So it's going to be insane when I build up my army. But anyways, what we're going to have to do now is finish off this Yuan War because this Yuan War is kind of becoming a little bit annoying, not going to deny. And then from here, what are we going to do, guys? Because I bet you guys are all wondering, what is our next goal in this World Conquest series? Well, guys, our next goal in this World Conquest series is actually going to be a very simple one. We're going to go after the mighty, mighty empire, as I just pointed out, the mighty empire of France. Le France. It's going to be, well, kind of hard, but in all honesty, it's going to be pretty easy. Because I don't believe the, I do not believe the French have it in them to defeat me anymore. Like, maybe back in the beginning of the game, they had somewhat of a chance. But now we're just way too OP for them to deal with. I mean, we literally own half the map. More than half the map. We own half the population, half, half the resources of the world, half of everything. We own. We are basically the landlords of the world. No one messes with us unless they want to die. So, yeah. We're going to go right here. I think... Actually, I don't know where Japan's moving. Okay, it's moving its army right there. Okay, I'll move right here then. I don't want to interfere with Japan sieging. Because Japan sieging is good for us. It's good. Let's see. You guys go right there. You guys go right there. And my Filipino allies will clean up the back of me. Yay! Good job, Filipino allies. I love Filipino allies. This could come in handy, rubber. It might. It just might come in handy. Ooh, yeah. I mean, we have four armies moving into Yuan territory. This is like a complete and utter slaughter. There is nothing they can really do to stop me at this point. And look at this. They, they don't, they're not even like, oh man. Let's just keep moving in. But they're not even like tough. What I mean by tough is that they don't have the advanced technology we do. This is just... I'm gonna be honest, guys. This is probably more of a slaughter than a conquest. I mean, seriously, these guys—they don't know anything. They—they they really don't know how to fight us, and we're just kind of just dividing them up and just destruct, just destruction. Although this is when this is the one time I'm actually feeling like. Well, this is one of the few times I've ever done this much conquest in a Victoria 2 map, and I gotta admit, 
it's insanely fun to see like all these nations just like you know be destroyed by your just massive might I mean right now we're taking over all of China which is kind of a good good nation to take over by almost everyone you're finally giving up that's good that means Tibet it's time to add my war goal to conquer you and I bet a lot of you are wondering aren't you a little bit worried about people trying to declare war on you if somebody tries to declare war on me I want to see them try okay if France has the guts to declare war on me, I want to see this. Just as I thought. <laughs> no one's going to declare war on me. I'm way too powerful at this point in the game. No one's going to try to fight my power. Alright. I will basically have all the land I need to have over here, though. Once I siege up a couple more of these provinces, then I'm basically going to uh, retreat, go all the way attack Tibet, annex Tibet, and then go annex Yuan. That way I have a good, gigantic central part of China underneath my control. And then from there, once we have all that, then I'll start getting a Cosmos Belli on the mighty France, or Les Francaises Empire. Oh man, that looks intimidating. Um, <laughs> that looks insanely intimidating. I mean, if I was the, if I was anyone else, if I was a French right now, I'd be so intimidated, I'd be like, oh shoot, they're about to attack me, aren't they? Oh no, uh, is there any way we could get a military alliance before you guys attack me? I kind of want to live, you know, the opposite of dying, live, you know, that thing. It sounds really nice. I'd love to keep doing it. Uh, sorry, fans. I, I'm going to definitely destroy you, though. You're definitely on my hit list next time. And let's see. We have the Italians moving in. We have everyone moving in. Oh, man. The Italians are going to turn to our enemy here soon. Because they have an alliance with the French. So, that's going to be sad once they, like... You know, it's going to be sad because they're the ones who are helping us right now conquer everything. But in the end, they'll be our enemy. You guys go right there. You guys go right there. We got all of our troops moving in. Finish off these guys, seriously. I want you guys to finish them off. Exploding Novgorod. Okay. Good oil, yay! Oh, and let me see. Let me see, how is this going? It seems like Japan's almost done. Manchuria, you guys are almost ready to accept peace. Not yet, but you guys are really insanely close. You guys should be giving up here in about another couple minutes. Maybe like another year. No, 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 maybe another, like, three months, but it's going to be really close. Let's see, work harder. Let's go down. It doesn't even matter if I work harder or work smarter, because I'm just so big. I basically control the entire world economy now. No one, I mean, no one can compare to our might. No one. Not even America. I mean, if I was really to just take a moment, I don't really want to lose anything. Just keep going. Uh, let's see, if I lose, look at our trade. I mean, we literally are the dominant power in the world. Let's look at glass. Yeah, we produce the most glass out of anyone. No one is outproducing us in glass. No one. No one's outproducing us in anything. Okay, and let's go finish off these uh, Tibetians. And then once the Tibetians are finished off, then we'll just go annex them. Manchu, you want a piece? Okay, we'll give you a piece. There we go. Now I have a border with the Chinese Empire up here, which I will use in a little bit. But for now, I need to go finish off the rest of the uh, Tibetians. Kaboom, everyone! Heh <laughs> heh I love, I love explosives. They're cool. Um, let's see. Mechanized mining, mechanized mining. We're gonna go siege down this province really quick, because I really don't want this to go really long. There we go. There we go. And let's see. Wait for, I'm gonna wait until Yuan offers me one more piece. Wait, wait. Let's see, and then, actually, you know, let's just do this manually. I don't really care. You guys, Annex, thank you. You guys, you guys are completely occupied. You should accept my peace. Yes, thank you. There we go, everyone. And we finished out the war, and now we can do some colonial provincing. Yay! Okay, let's do this. Oh, man, it's so awesome. So we got some more states up here. That means, actually, I was just looking at this. Like, 50% of some of these populations are, like, majorly Turkish. Wow, we're really, yeah, like, right here. This province right here is mainly Turkish, even though it should be Russian, that's mainly Turkish. That's that's really comforting to note that we have a lot of sway over here. Although, I'd like to point out that there's only 5.2k of people over here, but still, we have some sway. Alright, next thing what we're going to do is going to line up all of our people over here, and now we're going to start getting that causes Belay against the French as soon as we start decreasing relationship with them. Yeah, you gotta remember the decreased relationship with people that with peoples that used to hate you. So, by the way, I'm also going to decrease the relationship with the uh, Chinese because, besides for the French, I also want to just immediately declare war on China. And then once I defeat China, I believe there'll be no one else to stop me on the mainland. 
I mean, America will be a trouble. Will be trouble once we try to go conquer the Americas. But in actuality, trying to fight them on um, they're never gonna put it like this. They're never gonna be able to land an army on my continent. If they actually do, they're going to get you know majorly destroyed. I literally have an armies all the way from Europe all the way into uh, Asia. So. You know, they could try their best, but I would still destroy everyone. Lazy Neves doesn't have to adapt. Oil! I find you so much oil, man. <laughs> I feel like I feel like a rich daddy right now. I just have so much oil. Let's see. Let's get over here. Let's get to colonial province. Yay, more colonial provinces. Yay, more richness. Okay. You're probably ready to finally decrease. Let's get that. And then go finally over here to the uh, Chinese. And they're basically close enough to the point. Yeah, 99%. They're basically at the point where I want them to be. Let's see. You ready, France? Les France? You about to get taken over? Hmm, hmm, hmm. You're about to die. And let's see. We want to move all the armies that are going to be in this conquest to the shore. So I want to make sure that we can get these guys all across the uh, channel before, like, before, like, the uh, French do something smart, like, block up the channel, and then we can't get these guys over here. Because they'll just... Reduction of prestige. Hmm. Some little Indian state is trying to mess with me, eh? Is it of any importance to me, or... Nah. If it isn't really that important, I mean, I don't really care. Psh. I wish I did, but I just don't really care. So, just keep it, just don't tr do it again. 21 infamy. Uh, Alright. Let me deal with this right now, because I already know how somebody's gonna... Somebody, like, somebody's gonna throw a hissy fit, and I don't want to deal with that, so... Release Baden. Let's see, release some other little tiny vassals. Uh, Hodenstein. Release Hodenstein. Let's see, release... T -t 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 -t. Who else can we release? There's a lot of one province miners. There we go. Release them. Release them. Let's see, do you have enough? Yes, we do. Everyone's not mad at me anymore. Do I still have my alliance with Japan? Yes, I do. That's really why I want to keep this, is I do want to keep my alliance with Japan because I may want to use them for China. I mean, it's not incredibly critical important that they come to my aid in China, but I would prefer if they would. I mean, you know, it makes everything, you know, two, two big gigantic giants are better than one. Oh, I forgot this army. Okay, let's go send you guys down here to uh, this little province over here. And once you guys are down there, I'll divide you up and then we have a good army down there too. Yeah. We literally have a province for every single one of these. Baden, we actually don't have to guard Baden anymore, actually, so... Kudos to us. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Baden, you better build up an army quick, because you're probably going to be fighting Wuttenberg here. And that's not going to be fun. Trust me. That's not going to be fun. Kaboom! Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. You guys are all combining to make a new army. Let's see. Yeah, we're getting all of our troops right here. That's good. Of course, these guys are all of our vassals. They should not be complaining about anything I do because I am basically the mighty, the mighty empires of the world, and no one else is going to contend with that because I am basically a scary, a scary person. How about you guys go guard that little Thai province right there? That little Thai province needs some love, or at least protection, which could be love, considering considering your point of view of love. But let's go on. Let's go on, people. Let's see. We have all of our troops gathering again. Explosives, explosives. State industry fails. Oh no, all bureaucrats, all capitalists. I think I have more capitalists than bureaucrats. Let's... Do I? No! No! Okay, all bureaucrats. Yes. Bureaucrats, you guys will become less angry at me. Yeah, more cap... I have more capitalists than bureaucrats. What a silly, what a silly thing I said. A splendid idea. Yes, an excellent idea. We shall accept, because why not? We are we are an empire. We do these kind of things. Luxembourg. Do I really care about Luxembourg? No. <laughs> I, no. No, I'm not going to spend money to go fight Luxembourg. Okay, you guys are also getting more big. Going to divide you guys up. You guys will send half your army to go to, to Champon. You guys will defend a little tiny... Your, your army is just going to basically be comprised of all the armies I don't really care about. Uh, not really the armies I don't care about, but all the, like, little provinces I don't care about in my own countries. Okay? Okay. Let's see, we got who uh, invasion force of four, about seven guys right there. We got a big gigantic force right there, got a big gigantic force right there. I mean, seriously, the French would have to, I would hope that the French would know what's happening right now. 
Like, I would be tipped off by the fact that there were so many men on our border. And they're just, like, sitting there, waiting. Oh, right, a grand display. Plus, they also discovered my cousin's belly. You know, I would actually assume that by now, France would be, like, sucking up to me, like, Hey, buddies, do you remember this little present we gave you, like, a couple weeks ago? Yeah, don't forget about that when you guys are trying to fight us. Uh, just, just saying, don't, don't forget about that little present we gave you. It's very important that you don't forget about that little present. Wink, wink, wink. Or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> That's what I would do, at least. Let's see. Apparently, we also have a little bit of a gap right here in our lines. So I'm going to move in our soldiers right here. Actually, it's not really a gap if I just move my soldiers right there. And yes, I'm so ready for this. So you guys, oh man, I'm so, I'm so psyched. This is going to be such a cool invasion. Like, oh man, this is going to be so cool. Colonial maintenance. All right, next thing we need to get is definitely militaristic direction so we can get gas attacks. Okay, everyone's been waiting for this. Everyone's been waiting for the chance when we get to have gas attacks. Oh man, gas attack capabilities, gas attacks. Oh, they're so nice. This is so nice. I can't wait to have them. Oh, man. And let's see. Our armies are building up over here. We have a decent amount of armies on both sides. Let's see. What do we have in Africa? Just so I can kind of prepare myself. Eh. Let's see. We have those two, and we have this army. Eh. You know what? Do you guys move down here? Because I feel like I don't really care about Northern Africa that too much, because I feel like we can instantly, once we defeat all of European European France, I think it's just going to be easy going to go take over Northern Africa. So, let's see. Let's convert this into a province. Yay, more people. More people. It only has 200. Wait, what? Northern Yakulisk has only like 200 people in it. Wow. Okay, hopefully there'll be a gigantic baby boom. Because you guys need people. You need lots of people. Otherwise, you guys will die. I literally mean. Not just, not just fake die, but die die. Okay. Oh man, so many pop-ups. And this is this is becomes a point where there's like so many pop-ups you can't deal with the exploding explosions. Oil was found. Man, I'm finding so much oil. Okay, I gotta know my oil reserves because this is really. Let's see, I found oil. Yes, how much oil is in my land? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hmm. You know, and then some in America too. Yeah. Huh. I actually do believe I have the most oil out of anyone else in the entire world, though. Like, how much am I producing of oil? Let's see. Oil, oil, oil. Yep. There is absolutely no one else rivaling me in oil. I feel good. <laughs> oh, I feel so good right now. Intervene immediately. Let's see. 414 men. Let's see. Got all my soldiers right over there. Got my soldiers right over there. Uh, don't have a quite a big enough army over here. Assert our position. I don't really care. Chile, I don't care about either. Unless I was trying to conquer them, I don't really care. The French menace everyone. <gasps> Those no good Parlez vous Francais people. They're going. They're coming for us, everyone. And the wide prospector predicted it. So it must be true. The annexation is now ready. I'm actually gonna wait just a little bit because. Um, I do want to wait until this army finishes up right here, because then I want to go send that one up to the front, too. Let's see. And over here, let's start getting our causes belay against you. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. And let's see. Is everyone ready? Everyone ready? Everyone ready? I think everyone's ready. Okay. Well, except for this one little tiny army right here. We just have to get that all up in... Does this have three? No, it already has enough. Just need one more soldier. We need one more cannon in this army, and it's done. Let's see. One more cannon. There it is. There's that last cannon. Okay. Ah, uh, you guys are kind of wondering, what the? Ah. Uh, okay. Release one more state before we're done. This should be the last time I have to release a state, though, because I don't think I'm going to have to do it after this. Let's see, Slugswig. Uh, Siam, Slovakia, you know what, let's release Alaska, why not, Alaska, you're being released right now, the free people of Ghana, the North Ghana state, the people of Java, not gonna release Java, Java's way too important, the, the Republic of Malaysia, two provinces, 
You know what? Why not? The Republic of Malaysia, you guys can get your own little... Oh. Yeah, that's the Republic of Malaysia. It looks like just the city-state of Singapore, but... Anyways, everyone, I want to thank you guys for watching. To the next episode, we will be invading France, and we will finally see the... F well, I was going to make some kind of joke there, but I don't think I could, so... Just wait till next episode, guys. We're going to have a fun time then. So, see you guys next time.